Hey everyone, so I just wanted to answer a question uh, that I get a lot uh, either through uh, in-person uh, conversations or through email and, uh, and it's usually around uh, how do I get into this in terms of finances? How much money does it take to, uh, to get one of these uh, storage properties? Well, I'm standing in a location here. This is the first property that I ever bought uh, and uh, it took me right at about $40,000 to get into this, maybe a little bit less than $40,000. Uh, that was my own money. Uh, I, and you're thinking, well, how did you get $40,000 to get one of these things uh, financed? And um, well, the answer is I saved my money. <laughs> so I'm sorry if there was a, a no money down technique that you were looking for here uh, today. It's, 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 it's not like that at all. That was, and that $40,000 was roughly a 10% uh, down. Uh, I got a uh, SBA 7A loan product, so financed about 90% of the property. And um, we'll say, well, what am I going to get uh, in return off of that $40,000? Um, well, we're getting really close to rolling this property off. Uh, we have a closing of the sale coming up uh, fairly soon in about a week or so here. So I think it's a lot more interesting to tell you what I did instead of what I'm going to do. Everybody always talks about what they're going to do. Um, so uh, just hang tight. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get back to that here soon. Uh, but uh, people ask me that question all the time. So about $40,000, maybe a little less, is what it took me to get into it. Uh, it may sound like a lot of money, but you could easily put that amount of money down getting a single family residence or something like that uh, for an investment purpose. And uh, in that case, you only have um, one source of income, right? Uh, you only have that one renter. Uh, so for the equivalent amount of money, you know, you could, uh, you have many, many sources of income, right? So all of these uh, units here, are just little income generators every month. So also one of the primary factors that's gonna drive how much money that you have to put down is really the value of the facility. You're buying an income producing business. And so uh, these things range all the way up from multi-acre, class A, multi-level properties to uh, just a guy with one building out in a grassy field. Uh, and so depending on the size and class of the property, the amount of uh, units they have, uh, the rates they're charging, that's all, all gonna drive the value up. And so also then depending on how you finance uh, the product or the acquisition, uh, whether it's gonna be your own cash, whether it's gonna be a joint venture with someone, a syndication, or gonna be uh, uh, just a traditional financing model, uh, that's all gonna play into uh, how much you'll actually need uh, to get into this. But I guarantee you though, a lot of people think, well, I couldn't get into something like this. I've only got enough money to do residential or something like that. Um, uh, I don't think that's exactly true. Uh, so I uh, hope that was helpful. We'll dive in a little more into this property specifically, Lord willing. Uh, when we roll it off soon, we'll get um, more into, uh, well, was it beneficial to me? Okay, so I put in 40. Um, you know, would I do it again? Was it worth it? So uh, this has been the Self Storage Guy, bringing you more information about the Self Storage Universe. You guys have a great day.